What's going on? This feed night tonight, Sanders' house. Tonight I'm using frozen thawed. Uh, I do use live because I breed my own, but I also use frozen thawed when I need to. Um, there's some tongs you can use. That's a big pair. I've got different sizes, you know, but I like a big pair, especially when I have to reach down to the bottoms, etc. Then I switch to my smaller pairs. But anyway, um, a couple little quick tips in case you've never done frozen thawed. Uh, just use your little bucket or something like that. You can use If you don't want to take a chance of the rat exploding, they say use cold water. Uh, I always use hot water. I don't care if the rat explodes, but um, and I really don't ever have that problem. It's only happened maybe a handful of times over the years, but I use hot water and get it done real quick that way. And I'll put it in a, a bucket like that, five gallon bucket, fill it up with some water, hot water, leave it in there for a few hours while I play a video game or something and um, come back. Take them out, put them on a dry towel like this on my little rack, and uh, just kind of let them dry a little bit. And to get them warm, to make them seem like they're real, I go upstairs, I get my wife's hair dryer, and uh, I dry them. I don't mean dry them, but I warm them up. Sorry about that. I warm them up. They don't have to be dry, but just give them that heat signature so that the snake sees it. And uh, this, this is going to be loud, but I'll give you an example. My wife needs a new uh, hair dryer because it's pretty stuffed up. She's not like a lot of people. She won't buy a bunch of stuff for herself at all, so I'm going to have to buy all one. She spoils us. Get good and warm, good and hot. Nice little heat signature. Set that down. You can grab it anyway, but I'm going to show you. You can grab it like this so it kind of looks like a little real rat. I was going to get bit just showing you this, but... And uh, that's what happens. You don't have to do this either. It's hard to do when you turn the video. But anyway, take a little rat. You use your tongs normally, but take a little rat. Makes them think it's alive. Most of them don't even care if you do that, though. Um, and the average snake will eat frozen thawed or... If you give them that heat signature, I mean, they're not the smartest thing. Some of them don't even need a heat signature. Let me see. Like that little turd right there. Looks pretty hungry. We'll pick a, a nice cold one way over here and see how it acts. Look, it's looking for it. It smells it, but they don't see the heat signature. <laughs> but as you can see, they don't care nothing about no heat signature. It's like, well, that's a rat. Get that to me. Pull the hair off. Um, and these all eat live all the time but if you're having a problem getting it to do it you know use your hair dryer just warm it up uh i mean you can use several things but i think that's kind of like the quickest easiest thing just plug it in warm up your rats make it look fake because some of them like to make it look like it's walking in front of them you, know, you can have picky snakes but most of them ain't going to be at least none of mine are but that's about it it's not going to be a real long video just let them dry for a little bit. Mine ain't even dry. These are all wet, actually, but I just throw them up on the towel to get the main water off of them. Use a hair dryer. Feed. And then you're done. All right, guys. Let me get to feeding. Have a good night.